today is goal setting, okay? And the first thing I want y'all to do, if you don't mind, uh, I'll give you a minute or two. I just want you to write down a goal that you have, okay? It can be a short-term goal, a long-term goal. It can be, a, you know, I, I want to eat lunch today, <laughs> okay? Just one goal that you have, okay? I'll give you a minute to do that, and then we'll talk about how to properly set goals. Okay, all right, so we get started. Okay, first, first slide is just talking about what is goal setting. Uh, goal setting, one, one second, Coach, okay, we'll go back. Goal setting is the process of taking active steps to achieve your desired outcome, okay? Yeah, 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 all right. So, uh, smart method, okay? Number one, being specific when setting goals, okay? Uh, number two, and this is just the, the right technique on how to make a plan for your goal, okay? Uh, we'll go back real quick, Coach, to uh, this one. I know it's going by itself. Uh, what goal do I want to set, okay? When do I want to set this goal? Uh, and why do I want to set this goal? Okay, so these are the four questions you should ask yourself before uh, getting into it. All right, now two different ones you've heard before. Uh, what are short term goals? Okay, who has an example of a short term goal? Anybody? Okay, well, just something that I, I want to do short term. Okay, uh, that can be me setting a goal for the day. Uh, one second, that can be me setting a goal for the day, for the week. Uh, for the month, uh, some people might say, you know, bi-weekly, two weeks, okay? Uh, so that's what a short-term goal is, getting it done, getting it, you know, achieved quickly, okay? All right, what are long-term goals? I'll read it off the PowerPoint. Uh, a long-term goal is a goal you want to accomplish in the future. Sometimes there are objective ties to succeeding in your professional or personal life. Uh, long-term goals are not like long endeavors, okay? So what that means, all that means, and I want to focus on this last part, a lot of people set long-term goals and they set it for their whole life. <laughs> you know, I want to lose weight, uh, I want to get stronger, but it doesn't come to a real completion date. So even if it is a long-term goal, you want to set like a date of completion by you know, August 7th, I want to be done with this, okay? All right, here we go, Coach. All right, let's make a sure, let's make sure our goals are measurable. Uh, this one big, you know, uh, this one big. Uh, I want to make sure my goal is measurable, uh, it's quantifiable so that I can track uh, its success. This includes setting a timeline for when objectives should be reached, uh, determining what sources will be needed to complete the task, okay? And then we'll go to the next slide. Uh, and, and actually, this one is the one that's, that's really huge. You know, your goal needs to be realistic and also attainable, okay? So what I mean by that, and Coach know it, Right now, if we wanted to go play for the Miami Dolphins, him, or I wanted to play for the Miami Heat, man, I can't say, that's, that boat has surely sailed. I just, that's not an attainable goal for me. It is for you, but it's not attainable for me. Uh, be it our age, be it our athleticism, we just, we can't do it, okay? Uh, and one thing I want you to realize, I'm getting off track here, but who all feels like they want to go to college? Perfect, okay? When thinking about a major, okay, make sure 
that is something that relates to you, it's, it's attainable, it's relatable to you, okay, and, and what you feel like you can achieve, okay, or as you know, so make sure you think about these things, all right, we'll go to the next one, coach. Oh, another one, I, I kind of wanted to be a rapper, but uh, that's that's not an attainable, it was no, because I couldn't never rap, so that would have never been an attainable goal for me, okay. All right, here we go. Uh, ensure, we'll go back, Coach, real quick. Ensure your goal is relevant. Uh, uh, bullet point one, does it line up with objectives? Okay, uh, anybody know what that means? Okay, does it line up with what pertains to your life? Bullet point two, does it keep me on track with other goals? Bullet point three, uh, does it, does the goal, is the goal meaningful? Okay, I can set a goal but if it doesn't help anyone or help myself, uh, it's, it's no good. It, it means nothing, okay? Should be probably the last slide. Uh, make the goal time bound. Uh, ask specific questions about the goal deadline and what can be accomplished within that time period. So just being realistic, if I set a short-term goal for the week, I don't want to pile it up with three weeks worth of work. Okay, I want to keep it simple, keep it slow. Uh, making the goal time bound helps you work backwards and, and sets uh, smaller steps. Okay. Uh, me, right, you see what it says. Write, write them down and look at them often. Uh, that will be the last slide here. Write them down and look at them often. It just keeps it in the forefront of my mind. Like when I look at it a lot, it just keeps it right there in front of me. Uh, we take in so much content every day. Like I know I'm on Instagram a million times, Facebook a million minutes a day, you know. And because we do that, the things that should be in the forefront of our mind sometimes get to the back of our mind. And we're looking at highlights, and that's in the forefront of our minds, okay? So when I have a visual, when I can actually see it, and I have a visual of my goals and I'm steadily looking at them in my notes, that keeps me on track with, with getting it done, okay? All right, so that's the end of that one.